1433 in Bar Simple Machine, we did line on line off. Line on line off was this, um, side by team 1332 when we met with them. They wanted to create a machine that was able to draw a line under 10 inches and completely erase that line. Some follow up questions we asked were the type of marker to be used, if the machine should be stationary or movable, and if the cap of the marker could be taken off prior to the machine starting. With the meeting from Team 32, we defined some customer requirements. We defined four of them. The first one was the ability to draw a line, the line to be drawn on a tabletop whiteboard, the line should be under 10 inches, and the line should be completely erased. The technical needs we associated with these customer requirements were the ability to draw, the movability, the extension control, and the ability to erase. Based on these technical needs, we divided our team into mechanical and software heads. For our mechanical heads, it was me and Ava Curry. For our software heads, it was Jackson Emerson and Abigail Lindsay. So for our initial design ideas, we started brainstorming on how we could do this whole drawing the line and then erasing the line. And so the first initial design we had was to have two separate arms, one that would hold the marker and then a second one that would hold the eraser. And the first arm would draw the line fully out, and then the second arm would come and erase the line. And this idea was really good and we liked it because it would fully draw the line and you'd be able to see that we accomplished the task of fully out drawing out a line. But a con of this design was that it required multiple motors and was more complex in the coding than we were hoping for because the whole goal of this whole design project was to create a symbol of a devices we could. So we then decided to do another brainstorming and came up with having one arm that moved right to draw the line. And then when it moved to the left, it would erase the line. And so that would be kind of like a seesaw design. So moving to the left, it would one of the marker would come down and hit the paper and then move and draw the line. And then as it went the opposite direction, an eraser would come down and erase the line. But this was a little bit more complicated mechanically because it would involve the design moving laterally and then in the upward direction to make sure that the marker would come off the paper and not draw a line when it went in the reverse direction. But it was also very efficient at drawing the line. But because of the complicated mechanics, we decided on not doing that one. All right. All right. So as we were prototyping, we designed a scissor lift to have an extension mechanism that was very uh, controlled. And that's something we could do with just one motor. And as um, we needed our eraser to be the same size as our marker, we um, attached an eraser to the marker, as you can see um, on the right photo. And as we were doing our prototyping, we did discover that the optimal design would be to simultaneously have our um, eraser and marker move. So if you look on this left picture, you can see how they're attached together to the scissor lift. And this is it when it's more compact. And then on the right, it's fully extended about three and a half inches, which is under the 10 inch requirement set to us by team 32. And this is the most controlled way to do it and has the higher inter in highest interdependency among parts, making it the simplest design, which this was kind of the goal of this project was to have a simple yet effective design, which our final design does achieve. Additionally, it is also stationary, as you can see on the whiteboard and on the other photo, it just sits in one place and the marker and eraser extends and then retracts. And now I'm going to pass it on to Jackson to talk about so the code. For the code uh, of making this simple machine, it wasn't very hard because all we needed to do was just have the motor extend and have it move the scissor arm out and then have it immediately come back because that would then allow for it to race. And uh, so let's just go and show a little demonstration that we made. So as you can see, the scissor, uh, the scissor just extends it. So while the marker is down, uh, the eraser is then followed straight behind and erasing. And it also shows that it's uh, under the 10 inch requirement. Uh, team 32, thank you for this challenge. And uh, we hope that we made it uh, as complete as possible.